Okay, guys, this is exciting. Phoenix Rising 2.0. We are here to talk about it. As you can tell from the intro, from the pictures that will be floating around here, the last program was a resounding success. I am incredibly proud. proud, proud. I am incredibly proud of every single person that participated, and I actually can't wait to roll out the second Phoenix Rise, which will start on the 5th of April for eight weeks straight. This should give you enough time to get into a habit of eating healthier, improving your diet, get into training, maybe lose some body fat if that is your goal. If your goal is muscle building, maybe build a little bit of muscle. It's gonna be harder though, it takes a while to build muscle, but this will hopefully give you a little bit of time um, to get ready for your summer body. If you want to have a nice body for summer, now is the time to start dieting. You can't start dieting in July, June and expect to look good in July. No, you need to start dieting now. You need to start chipping away at that body fat now to try and look better for then. But I do want to remind everybody, this plan is not just about fat loss. If you want to build muscle, this will happen. This will definitely happen because resistance training you can lose fat and build muscle at the same time, depending on your body type and where you are in your fitness journey. This program is not just about losing body fat. It is about transformation. And it's called the Phoenix Rising because the Phoenix is a mythological bird who sacrificed himself to the fire only to be reborn better. And this is what I want to do is I want to re make sure you all have rebirth in a it's a bit dramatic, isn't it? It's a little bit too dramatic. I don't know why. Basically, I want to make you the best version of yourself. I want to do that with the help of using this program, where basically you have guidance in terms of nutrition, in terms of training, and you have something to follow. There will be community. There will be check-ins. There will be accountability. So how is this plan different from the previous Phoenix Rising? First of all, the training is a lot more advanced. I've, uh, I've got nine... I've got nine different training plans. I have a booty building plan, which is a lot of leg day with some upper work. I have a power building plan. So this is really for people that are quite advanced, but you're looking at German volume training, you're looking at uh, five by fives, just really focused on strength and power. These two plans are not for beginners at all. You need to be quite advanced. You need to understand your basic power lifts and more complex lifts in the gym. I have coaching cues for everything, but if you are a true beginner, there are two plans, uh, the beginner one and the beginner two. So if you're a beginner one, I would say the beginner one is probably for people that are completely new to the Phoenix Rising. The beginner two is a follow-up from the people that were beginner one and are now beginner two. But if you still want to do the beginner one for the second time you're doing the Phoenix Rising, you could. The plan is different. It has been changed around. The rep ranges and stuff like that is kind of similar, but the, the setup has changed. There's more exercises and all of that. So if you wanted to do it again, you could. It will be different, but some of it will be the same. I have also done an intermediate one and intermediate two. Again, if you were intermediate in the first program, in the first round, then you may want to consider doing intermediate two. Uh, for the intermediate, again, there is a level of you having a knowledge of training. So... This is in the beginner plans. There will not be things like back squats, deadlifts, etc. Because these are very complex lifts. Re ideally, you do need to work with a personal trainer in person so that they can see your form and correct it. If you're an intermediate, I assume you have this understanding. I do give coaching cues, like I said, but it's not the same. I'm not there actually coaching you. I'm just guiding you through cues, through training videos. And as support, you can film yourself and send it to me. Stuff like that is fine. But it's not really, it's not one-to-one -one coaching and I'm not there in person to potentially rectify errors. I have also created three home plans. So the first one is a very simplistic beginner home plan. I have advanced it from the initial home training. Uh, it's kind of for people who are, who have nothing but just a couple of resistance bands and a couple of little dumbbells. The second plan is a follow-up on that, or it's a little bit more advanced. Again, based only for resistance bands and like some dumbbells. And I will create a home training plan for people that have, like myself, a bit more of a home gym. Not even like as much as what I do, because I have quite a lot of stuff in my home gym. But people that have like a bench that goes into an incline and that have a barbell and stuff like that. So 
I will have three different home training plans. The reality is with home training, you can only do so much. So I can definitely make training plans and I can program it and I can switch some things up and keep it somewhat interesting, but there's only so much you can do. And that's the reality of it. You can't really progressively overload and you are looking at repetition of a lot of the same exercises. But I'm doing things like I learned how to do arm wraps um, as many rounds as possible. So I'm incorporated some of that sort of I'm incorporating things like that into a lot of the plans, actually. So there is the changes there in terms of nutrition. I am not changing that around a lot because that worked fine. Nutrition, if it works, it works. There is no restriction in terms of food groups. You eat proteins, carbohydrates and fats. If you're somebody who wants to do keto, I would not necessarily recommend it. Maybe we should have a conversation first via email. Um, but if there's something you really want to go into, you would just replace your carb portions with fat and you'll be fine. The portions, uh, I will update the lists of food so that there's just a bit more options in there. That's one of the only changes I'll make in terms of that. But it, generally speaking, it will follow the same sort of structure where you know, meal one, depending on how many calories it, you, you have, you, you will have um, a portion, for example, a portion of carbohydrates, a portion of fats, and two portions of protein. Then you just go to the different columns where it says protein, and you'll pick, oh, okay, well, one portion of protein is, say, 150, chicken, 150 grams of chicken breast. I need to have two portions of that. One portion of carbohydrates, oh, okay, well, I can have either two apples, for example, I don't know if that's correct, so don't quote me on this. I can have two apples or I can have 100 grams of uh, sweet potato. Okay, well, I'm going to go for the sweet potato and for my fat. Well, what can I have? Um, I want some olive oil. Okay, that's one tablespoon of olive oil, which is this much. So then basically what you do is you weigh out, you go, you weigh out the 300 grams of chicken breast for the two portions of protein, your chicken and your fat, your olive oil, and then that way you create your foods. Vegetables, you just have a cup of vegetables, unless it's like a starchy vegetable and they will be in your protein and they will be in your carbohydrates. It is whole foods, so, but you will get a cheap meal. I do believe in cheap meals. I like doing cheap meals. A cheap meals should be around 2000 calories, no more. In terms of cardio, I will give different cardio protocols depending on what your goal is. Nothing extreme. I do recommend people do half an hour of walking or at least some cardio every day. Um, on your off days, do try and get like a half an hour to an hour in. It's just good for your heart health. Heart health is important and the fitter you are, the more you can lift, etc. So there is benefits to training. The cardiovascular system. Uh, I will recommend for some people to do high intensity training a few days a week just because you do get better results doing that but it's optional, you don't have to. But obviously, the more output you have, the more fat loss you'll have. And this is why if your goal is building muscle, you probably won't have a lot of, you probably won't have a lot of cardio and you probably will have higher calories. So if you email me, don't pay me anything. I'll send you the letter, the introduction, the, the, the for your information letter, read through that. Sign it because obviously there's some people I can't help. And if, for example, you say that you told me you have no medical conditions and then it turns out you do have medical conditions and something happens to you, that's not my fault because you've, you've signed a waiver. I've just got to back myself up here just from a legal perspective. Uh, should something happen, there's certain people, if you're over, over a certain age, under a certain age, over a certain weight, the reality is you do need to work with professionals in person rather than virtually read through it, sign it, and then tick the relevant boxes. So I, I want to do this plan. And my main goal is either gaining muscle or losing fat. These are my details. And then I'll send out the welcome packs, which will not go out until a week before the program starts, because I don't want to give people two or three weeks head start. That's not fair for other people that join later. So a week before I'll start sending out all the plans. And the way I'll do that is I'll go through my PayPal and everybody that's paypal me, I'll write those names down and I'll go back and see what the... And I'll just go back to see the emails that have been sent back with the, the signed waiver and the information that I need to send out your plans. So what it, what's also different is that this time around I'm going to create a Discord server, which I don't know if I'll have an awful lot of time managing it, but I'll be sure to put moderators in there who I trust. 
This is just a place for you guys to be able to get together to maybe discuss recipes to talk about motivation i don't know if you can upload videos with form it's just more of a, a communal place where people can gather and talk about just what, whatever whatever really but it's for us it will be completely private it's not going to be open to everybody that it's not going to be open to people who aren't part of the phoenix rising there is obviously the instagram page that i manage where if you tag me in your stories i'll try and reshare them in time i can't promise i'll reshare every picture or i'll catch them in time um but i will try my best i can reshare before and afters progress pictures recipes i'll create a new hashtag for recipes only so that you guys can follow the hashtag and follow each other there is the hashtag for the phoenix rising so Again, you guys can find each other and support each other. This worked really well last time around. I was always incredibly happy to see the previous participants in each other's comment section and supporting each other. Wonderful thing to see. So there will be that. I'm also going to start doing email check-ins. I wasn't doing this before because I didn't really have the time. This time around, I'll keep the live streams to a Monday. You check in on Monday and then Tuesday, uh, I'm going to dedicate some time, Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on whether I have to go to shelter or not, Tuesday or Wednesday, I will dedicate time to go through the emails and do the check-ins. If they're, for example, stagnating on the same weight for a period of time, I can email them back and be like, okay, what, what's, the, what's going on? Are you having stresses? Are you on your period? Are you overeating? What's changed? And then maybe that way I can give some recommendations. Okay, like maybe try and cut out a meal and see if that has more success or like, oh, if you're really tired and really hungry, maybe try and up your calories. But I don't know these things until I have back and forth and I can kind of see trends in people's weight. If you want to check in with me, that's totally up to, me, up to you. You don't have to. It's just for your own accountability. It helps with some people. But yeah, for the most part, this plan is just to encourage, uh, to teach people new training methods, new ways of training and implement healthy habits, get into a routine and, you know, test yourself. Don't be afraid to, to, to learn what you're capable of doing you are capable of doing great things and and a lot you just have to put your mind to it so this is not just oh okay well i'm going to lose 10 pounds you probably will you probably will but it's not just about that it's about mindset uh functionality that's another thing i'm changing i'm going to get you guys to do mobility drills i've been doing them myself and it's made a big difference in my training so part of the warm-ups is going to be you have to do some mobility drills. you don't have to obviously but I highly recommend you do them. So I think that has pretty much everything covered. I will leave the email in the description below. Email me there and I can send out the information letters. And uh, if you want to sign up the, so you can sign it. Uh, oh, I'm going to talk to a graphic designer today for some merch for the Phoenix Rising. And it's going to be proper quality merch. It's not going to be cheap ass teespring with a sticker is going to be imprinted t-shirts tops whatever it's going to be imprinted into the material it's going to be quality material that will be open for everybody but i don't know when this is going to happen it may happen in a few months time i have to find a good design i have to find somewhere to print good quality at a decent price there's a lot that goes into it so but i do think that's it guys so if you're interested email is down below and let's make this into a movement. Like, I really want this to be a massive, very encouraging, empowering thing that anybody can participate in and benefit from, regardless of who you are, where you're from. Anybody can do this. And yeah, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, by the way. Most people that do this are American. You don't have to be American. Most of my audience is American. Wherever you are in the world, doesn't matter. So if you have any more questions, leave them down below. I'll keep an eye on that for the next few days or email me. That would work as well. And yeah, hopefully you can join. I do have limited spaces, so email sooner rather than later if you are interested to participate. And if you want to secure your spot, do make me a PayPal payment. But do remember, I'm not sending out the plans until the last week of March, okay? Oh, excited, excited, excited. Anyway, I'm going to go and do my own training now. So yeah, looking forward to your emails.